Hey, Shalom. I want to begin this lesson by giving all the glory and praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rahakwadash. All right, double honor to the head of apostles and elders, my teachers over at Great Millstone. Peace and salutation to the hopeful elect scattered throughout the four corners of the earth. They're teaching this truth without true sincerity and diligence. I right, your brother Malachi, one of the video. Hopefully, it's edifying to the lands of Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. All right, yeah, man, you know, I'm just back with another video. You know, uh, titling this, this uh, video transition of powers all right because that's what you got taking place here in the earth man right like the lord tell you that uh when you see parts of these signs past then she you will understand that you know ultimately he's visiting the earth man you know and by him bringing forth the series of plagues right it's ultimately going to bring forth our, our salvation man you know let's grab this real quick uh romans 13 and 11 all right, he's saying that knowing the time that now it is high time to wake out of sleep for now is our salvation nearer than when we believe right and our salvation and ultimately when you granted salvation you granted a, a, a pass into the kingdom man right and that's what the saints of the lord y'all bless me i long for man right we long for the coming of our lord man because he gonna come with that salvation ultimately that ticket man right to get into the kingdom Right, and that's that transition that's taking uh, that's taking place right now, man. Right, and by you seeing the series of the plagues, and that's just a brink of the kingdom of heaven, uh, being fully established, man. You know, let's go to uh, real quick the book of Second Peter, chapter three, and verse thirteen. <clears throat> All right, he said, nevertheless, we, according to his promise, look for new heavens. And a new earth wherein dwelleth righteousness. See? That's what we're looking for, man. Because we are uh, understanding under this under this heaven and this earth that was given unto the wicked being Esau. You know, hey man, ain't nothing but mourning, death, disease, pain, you know, heartbreaks, all sorts of, you know, tragedies that you can think of is happening under this devil's watch, man. You know, under his tents, right? You, hey, not only is the people mourning, but you got the animals. You know, a nature in itself, man. You know, being under this man's tent, man. So yeah, we long for we long for you know a, a, a new heaven and a new earth wherein dwelleth righteousness, man. All right, real quick, go to Proverbs. Proverbs twenty nine. All right, in verse two. All right, it say when the righteous are in authority. You see, the people rejoice. So, hey, it, it plays a vibration even on, on, on the people, man. You know, the 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 rulers of the earth, whoever's in rulership plays a, uh, you know, it, it, it plays a part on the people. You know, not only of the, you know, the people of their nation, man, but the people of the world. Because when the, when the elect come back in the, uh, in the power, a righteousness is going to dwell throughout the four corners of the earth. See, the Lord said he make a new heavens and a new earth. But because you under the the uh, vibrations of Esau under his tents, right? A wickedness is is pumped daily. So of course, if you if nations is fornicating with uh with Babylon, hey, they pumping wickedness as well. You know, so by by default, man, the people, you know, gonna uh gonna uh gonna uh so like you gonna mourn, All right? So he say when the righteous are in authority, the people rejoice, but when the wicked bear rule, right? The people mourn it. You see? So that's why Yahweh Bashim Yahshua said he coming with a new heaven and a new earth. Right? Because hey, this this heaven and this earth right now, under the tents of Esau, hey, everything is ruined. Everything is polluted. The whole earth is out of course. You got the people, the minds of the people are, are are destroyed. The animals are destroyed. You know, you have extinct animals. You know, you got animals committing suicide. You know the water is destroyed, the air is destroyed. So yeah, how Bashmi I got to come with a whole new, a whole new program, man. You know, and that program ain't gonna be including this devil, man. All right? Let's go to the Book of Isaiah, yeah, chapter sixty-five, all right, and verse seventeen. So he say, "For behold, I create new heavens and a new earth." All right? The former. It's so like, and the former shall not be remembered, right? Nor come into mind. So the former being, 
you know, under the tents of Esau, hey, we ain't going to be thinking about, you know, the, the food that we used to eat in America. Or, you know, we ain't going to be thinking about Six Flags, you know, or the malls or the clubs. Nah, man. Hey, this place ain't even going to come to mind, nor is this devil, man. All right, real quick, let's go to the book of Job. I'm going to come back to that. All right, this Job 24 and verse 20. He said, the womb, right? The womb shall forget him. See, hey, this is this, speaking of this devil, man. Speaking of Esau, he said, the womb shall forget him. The worm shall feed sweetly on him. Yeah, man, because the Lord is ultimately going to destroy this man, man. Bring forth death and destruction on this man. You see? He said, he shall be no more remembered. And wickedness shall be broken as a tree. Yeah, man, because, hey, under this man's rulership, a hey, wickedness thrive, man. You know, wickedness is on the, uh, on, on, on high under, on, under his tents, man. You know, but when he get cut down, hey, his, the wickedness of this world is going to be cut down as well, man. <laughs> you know, let's go back to uh, Isaiah. All right, this Isaiah 65, 17 again. He said, for behold, I create new heavens and a new earth, and the former shall not be remembered nor come to, come into mind. All right, so the former being this rulership right here is not going to come into mind, man. But, hey, we're going to be fully set on the, uh, on the kingdom to come, man, on the rulership and the earth and the heavens to come, right? Being under the banner of uh, of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shah, right? All right, so he say, but be ye glad and rejoice forever in that which I create. For behold, I create Jerusalem a rejoicing, uh-huh, and her people a joy, man. Yeah, man, see, it's supposed to be joy here in the earth, man. You know, but, hey, being under this damn devil, uh, under his tents, man, hey, he bring forth nothing but mourning, pain, you know, destruction, you see? Ultimately, how about me? I gotta take this man out, man. You know, and he not he ain't fit for rulership, right? So, hey, the kingdom's gotta be transitioned over to a, a power, you know, that's that's fitted, that's rightful for the uh, for the throne, man. And that's your Shah. Which, by the way, you know, your Shah gonna break bread with his elect, man, and the elect is gonna be set up to govern the earth, right? Hey, to make sure, you know, that a hey, wickedness. You know, it's never going to thrive again. All right, this uh, Revelation 21 and verse 27, he say, And there shall in no wise enter into it anything that defile it. See? Neither whatsoever worketh abomination, nor maketh a lie, but they which are written in the Lamb's book of life, man. See? Hey, the, they, this going to be governed by the elect, man. And he's going to make sure that nothing de uh, that defiles the land get into it, man. No defiled animals, you know. Nothing, hey, no, no, you know. Nothing that that can defile the uh, the minds of the people, man. Right, everything is gonna be perfect, man. You know, and and that's what we long for here, man. You know, all right. Uh, let's go to real quick uh, Proverbs. Proverbs chapter 11. All right, you see in verse uh, verse 11. It's like it. We're going to start at verse 10. All right. He say, when it goeth, when it goeth well with the righteous, the city rejoice. So you, say, you see? And, and those cities can, you know, can get into countries. You know? He say, uh... And when the wicked perish, there is shouting, man. Yeah, man, it's shouting, man. Hey, then, then, then the Lord said, you know, they you clap your hand. Matter of fact, matter of fact, let's go grab that real quick. Uh, Job, Job twenty-seven and verse uh, twenty-three. <laughs> he say, man, men shall clap, uh, shall clap their hands at him, right, and shall hiss. And she hits him out of his place, man. Yeah, man, we're going to be rejoicing, man, when this devil finally fall out of power, man. It, you know, when Yahweh Bashem Yahshua ultimately take this devil out, man, it's going to be a sign of rejoicing in the earth, man. 
you know, because this devil destroyed everything. You see, he brought forth death on the animals and the people, man, and everything round about him. You know, I right, just go to uh, Second Ezra. All right, chapter six. Okay, before I grab that, uh, chapter six. Let's see. Yeah. All right. It's the book of Second Ezra, chapter six, and verse fifty-nine. All right. He say, "If the world now be made for our sakes, right? Because this Ezra's inquiring of the uh, of the children of Israel gaining the kingdom back, man. Right? Because ultimately, the world, you know, the plants and the animals, hey, everything." That, uh, you know, everything was, was rightfully made for us, man. Like, we was the ones who was supposed to inherit this earth and the other nations was supposed to be our service. We was never, we was never meant to serve, man. Only person we was meant to serve was Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shah. All right? So he said, if if uh, if the world not be made for our sakes, why do we not possess and inherit with the world? How long should this endure? You see? So even Ezra was inquiring of the kingdom of heaven, man. Of the next regime You see But ultimately it was revealing to him Alright This uh, uh Second Ezra chapter 6 and 9 He said for Esau is the end of the world Right So Esau being You know being this This current B system right now That we That we under Being here in America You know Under the rulership of Esau Edom Right, he said Esau is the end of the world. That's how you know we're at the end, you know, and that's how you know the tra a, a, a transition of powers is taking place by the way of the prophecies. So the Lord tell you to watch, you know. So he said, for Esau is the end of the world, and Jacob is the beginning of it that follow. Yeah, man, understanding that, hey, it's a you know, it's a kingdom to come, man. You know, after this, after this rain, it's a light at the end of the tunnel. You know, it ain't just going to stop with Esau and you being wicked your whole life. You know, you struggling your whole life. You know, you you feel like you nothing. America making it known that you are nothing. It's not going to be like that, man. You know, it's going to come a time where the Lord is actually going to put us back in, you know, back in our rightful place, man. That's why the prophets and the elders and the apostles even, you know, back in the ancient, they spoke of this. They spoke of the world to come. All right. Uh... Hebrews 2 and 5 Okay he say For unto the angels Hath he not Appointed all right, Hath he not it's like it. I'm going to start at verse 4 He said the most high also bearing them Witness both with signs And wonders And, uh, and with diverse uh, Miracles And gifts and gifts of the Holy Spirit according to his own will. For unto the angels hath he not put uh, in subjection. Hath he not put in subjection the world to come? Whereof we speak. See? Hey, even Paul was speaking of the world to come being the kingdom of heaven. You see? Square one more. Uh... All right, this uh, Hebrews chapter six and verse five, he say, uh, and have uh, and have tasted the good word of the Most High. It's so like it. We're gonna go verse four. All right, he say, for it is impossible for those who were once enlightened and have tasted of the heavenly gift and were made partakers of the Holy Spirit. And have tasted the good word of the most high and the powers of the world to come. You see, hey, it's all about the world to come, man, being the being the kingdom. You know? Hey, it's a hey, America ain't gonna be here. America ain't gonna stand forever, man. After America, man, is gonna reign the kingdom of heaven. Right? That's why Yahweh Bash Miyash said, hey, go out and teach for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. You know? Hey man, but with that man, I hope this is an edifying lesson. Again, I want to give all the glory and praise to Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shabbat Shem Rakadash.
Thanks. Until next time, I say shalom.